Think of Godzilla's toughest enemy. You got it? Well, most of you said one or two things. Either Destroya or Kaiser Ghidorah. If you said Kong, you're weird. Leave. There's good reasons why these two are commonly considered when thinking of the two most powerful Godzilla kaiju. Both of these required an amped Godzilla to take them down. And they both completely ragdolled their respective Godzilla. Commonly, these two are pinned together in, uh... YouTube shorts. Which of course just means a whole lot of ploking. Ploke. To absolutely and uncontrollably overestimate something. So if you're a Heisei stan, you say Destroya stomps. And if you're a Final Wars fan, you say Kaiser Ghidorah slams. There just really isn't a clear-cut answer. So as someone who doesn't like either of them more than the other, let's find out who would win. Kaiser Ghidorah versus Destoroya. Starting off this Titanus battle, we have strength. Now both Duh. of these guys are interesting Is that my pick? because neither of them have arms. Destroya uses his tail while Kaiser Ghidorah uses his necks. Starting with Destroya, and as we see, Destroya casually drags around burning Godzilla in a city by his neck. And we know thanks to this scan right here, that Godzilla in this film weighs 60,000 metric tons. Now onto Kaiser Ghidorah. Again, like Destroya, Kaiser Ghidorah lifts his respective Godzilla. Now, Godzilla Final Wars weighs just a little less at 55,000 metric tons. And they could make the argument that Kaiser Ghidorah being the strongest Ghidorah ever, meaning he's stronger than Showa Ghidorah, who is stronger than Showa Godzilla, who lifted Zandora, who weighs 91,000 metric tons, would make him stronger. But that statement's kind of iffy, and we're trying to stray away from statements in this video. Just pure feats. But overall, I'm gonna have to say it's a tie for strength. Next up is speed, and this was pretty simple, Destroya takes this, due to the fact that Kaiser Ghidorah can't actually fly, while Destroya, of course, can. This gives Destroya a massive advantage. Next up is durability. Let's go over their feats. Starting with Kaiser Ghidorah, he was able to absolutely tank Godzilla's atomic breath, which was able to destroy Gorath, which held Monster X. Though we don't know how durable Gorath is, so it's kind of widely considered a good feat, but we don't exactly know how powerful it is. Now into Destroya, and yeah, he takes this. Now I'll explain why, and it's pretty simple. He took the infinite burning heat ray, which is more powerful than the base spiral heat ray, which was easily able to get through Mechagodzilla's diamond coating and kill Space Godzilla in a few hits. That along with the fact that the infinite heat ray gets infinitely hotter each time he uses it, this pretty easily gives Destroya the durability category. Next up is IQ. I'm not gonna go into it, it's a tie, they both show similar feats in this category. Now into battle IQ. So this category isn't much of a debate because it goes to Kaiser Ghidorah. And Destroya is very young in this movie. Now, while sure his microorganisms are 2 point something billion years old, and they make up Destroya, Destroya himself is pretty young, only being a couple weeks old. While Kaiser Ghidorah is stated to be the strongest Ghidorah in his respective universe, meaning most likely in the past he's been in quite a few fights. Though that is a little bit of headcanon. But he was able to work with Gigan, showing some critical thinking and teamwork skills. And when he needed to change his fighting style, he quickly changed to Kaiser Ghidorah. So, Battle IQ goes to Kaiser. Next up is their beam strength. Now to see who has the stronger beam. Starting with Destroya. As he shows, when he shoots Godzilla with his beam, he makes Godzilla roar, but that's about it. Now onto Kaiser Ghidorah. We see that when Godzilla is hit by these beams, it sent Godzilla sliding across the city, which means it has a lot of force behind it. Now hold on, Death fans, before you say, well, it's an anti-gravity hack. Just know by saying that, you would pretty much give Kaiser Ghidorah strength, since that means he can lift almost anything. So who has more punch behind their beam? That category is going to go to Kaiser Ghidorah. Next up is abilities. Starting with the crab himself, Destroya. He has division and recombination, micro oxygen beam, and his variable slicer. Now into Kaiser Ghidorah, who has anti gravity beams and energy siphoning. Again, we have another tie. While Destroya can use his slicer against Kaiser Ghidorah and it would probably do a lot of damage, if Destroya is that close to Kaiser to be able to use his slicer, Kaiser would also be close enough to bite into Destroya and suck out a lot of energy, weakening him. Now onto agility. Neither of them just throw that category out the window i mean it, i mean don't even argue in the comment they're not they're not agile and finally we need a tiebreaker they're physical weapons for those who don't know physical weaponry is pretty much what they have on their body now destroya is covered head to toe in thick skin that thick skin is also covered in many spikes making it hard for anything to bite or cut into him now while he does have a strong jaw and claws due to how stiff he is they're practically useless though to make up for it he does have his tail which can stab into things and is quite prehensile now into Kaiser Ghidorah. He is kind of lacking in this department. Well, he does have three strong jaws, that's about it for him. So this category goes to Destroya. So who wins? Finally ending this debate, with a score of 6 to 5, Godzilla's toughest enemy is... Destroya. Flying away with major damage dealt to him, Destroya would win this fight with around high difficulty. So yeah, Final Wars and Heisei stands, have your war in the comment section. I'm not even gonna bother opening the comment section for like, two weeks until this video's out. But as always, everybody, keep collecting. Guys are the guy, out. See ya.